Hi, here's another video of my Kawasaki Bayou 300 1986. Some tips on removing and installing the starter on this thing instead of having to take the side cover off the engine every time I found a different way to get it on and off in 10 minutes. One point is the brake, the, here's the motor here, all overhauled. And I notice there's two kinds of these breaker plates. The slot here, this is the old plate, the new one, the slot is oriented the other way. Because this way the slot stops the wire on the brush and it can't go towards the commutator as far as the new one. The slot is reversed. You put the brush in the other end and you go right out. Plus this hole here, this one's bigger than the new one. So that lets the brush get closer to the commutator. So here's the motor. As you see, the end cap is not here. I left that on the machine. That way I don't have to take the cover off because the gear doesn't fall down that side. I undid the two screws and pulled the motor off the machine leaving the end behind. So you feel, as long as you leave that behind the gear inside stays put. The way I get it back on I put this ring gear and the seal on and let it sit there and then I work the motor in so like this. Seal off a moment. That's the ring gear. Put the ring gear in there. Those gears stay put. Get the gear in there. Key it into that little peg on the bottom, and it stays put. Then I put the seal around it. Already, so I just put the motor in. So I just put the motor in there like that, and put the two through bolts on. If you use these two through bolts, you need a screwdriver like this. Sort of a rounded, uh, a rounded head Phillips screwdriver. And you can just barely get one of the screws in because of the exhaust pipe, but if you push very hard on it and don't wreck the head, it'll work fine. And get the motor in and out in 10 minutes now instead of half an hour, an hour of that stupid cover and gasket and everything. So I need two hands to do this, so that's so I'll stop for the moment now. I'll show another video after it's installed. Okay, so there it is all installed. You can see the two through bolts I had to undo to get the motor out, aside from the mounting bolts on the end cap. Cranks a lot better. And with that new brush plate, the brushes should last longer because they can go out farther than they could with the old one. Thanks for watching.